Hey Fellowship, thanks for joining us for our Easter celebration. It was good to have many of you here live and in person. It was great to see so many of you continuing to join us online. Now, following Easter, we are jumping into a brand new series entitled The Gospel According to Satan. It's looking at the way Satan suggests and whispers different lies into our lives. And as Christians, we listen to these lies and we begin to believe them. All of this is based on a, a great resource, a great book written by Jared Wilson. And we're gonna hear such lies as let go and let God, trust your feelings, or God helps those who help themselves. On this first Sunday, April 11, we're gonna consider the, the whisper and the lie where Satan says, God just wants you to be happy. Spend your entire life trying to make yourself happy, whether that means getting more money, going on a great vacation, living a lifestyle that brings you pleasure, finding a certain person for a certain relationship, whatever it is, God just wants you to be happy. Is that true? What about the Apostle Paul? Was he happy? Paul writes in 2 Corinthians, he says, five times I received the 40 lashes minus one from the Jews. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I received a stoning. Three times I was shipwrecked. I've spent a night and a day in the open sea. On frequent journeys, I face dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own people, dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, and on and on and on. Does it sound to you like Paul was happy? And yet, when Paul writes his final letter to Timothy, Paul is in jail and the end of his life is very near. What does he say? In 2 Timothy 4, we read, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I've kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. What really brought Paul joy? What was far more important than any worldly happiness? The righteousness of God, the glory of God, the holiness of a God who loves you and who loves me and has a great plan for our lives here and now, but a perfect plan for our eternity. Friends, join me on Sunday, April 11, and let's find out what will really bring us joy. God bless you.